High school athletes are back in action, but it's a different story for the marching bands. They cannot perform during halftime on Friday nights, nor can they play in competitions like the one you're seeing here from a year ago. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills found one band, however, that is piecing together a performance season unlike any other. High school marching bands are not able to perform at halftime during Friday night football games, but some bands are finding other venues to perform. Two, three, and. At Mona Shores, the flutes and trumpets are just beyond the Hondas and Jeeps. It's still super weird, and there are still things that we're working through. Band director Jason Boyden turned a parking lot. I think it's all worth it. Into a concert hall. It's really just joyful noise. For a newly created fall concert band. This is a brand new thing for us this year. It's filling the void created when the state told marching bands they couldn't perform. It's a little difficult to say the least. All of us are bummed out about it. Bummed, but spirits are high. With a year like this, we just, we gotta make it work. Musicians playing with masks. It's definitely a challenge that I guess I wasn't expecting. This is only half of the concert band. It's intentionally split with practices on alternating days. Between uh, 60 and 70 kids. Practicing now for a performance when the two groups will join together. Spread out much like this. With hopes the marching band will be allowed to reassemble later this school year. I want that for our seniors. I want that for our freshmen so that they get that chance. And the fall concert band will perform here November 1st. Each student is able to invite two guests and everyone has their fingers crossed that in Michigan, there will be a competitive marching band season in the spring. In Norton Shores, John Mills, 13 on your side.